Welcome back to Mississippi Beach as we continue our live competition with the interviews. Now, the new Miss Teen USA is not only a role model for teenagers, but during her reign, she's also going to meet a lot of people, talk with a wide variety of folks in her travels, and for that reason, the judges know that her communication skills are very important. Now, these interviews are spontaneous, they're unrehearsed, and the contestants are judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and, of course, the content of their answers. And we'll begin with uh, Miss New York. This is Sarah Ray Gore. She's 17 years old. She's an A student who enjoys modeling, volleyball, doing volunteer work for the homeless. Now, your last name is Gore. Are you any relation no. to the vice president? <laughs> no, I'm not. I wrote him a letter, though, and he didn't write me back yet. Well, he's a very busy guy. What did you say to him? Um, about the homeless. They're closing down a lot of military bases, and I think they should put the homeless in there for shelter or education. And I'm going to write again, though, hoping he's going to send, send me back a letter, maybe invite me to the White House. <laughs> I guarantee you after this, his constituents are going to say, answer that woman from New York. I thought he'd answer me because we have the same last name. Well, you've got to realize he gets a lot of mail. Now, let me turn the subject over a little bit. You're 17 years of age. You've got your whole life in front of you. What are your plans? Well, I plan to take over my father's business and become a CPA. And Wait a minute. Does he know anything about this yet? He does. He's over there. Yes, he does. Um, me and my sister actually have plans to take it over if my acting career doesn't work out. All right, now wait a minute. You're going to back up and be an yeah. accountant if you're not an actress. All right, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. Are you good with money? Yes, very good. <laughs> I, mean, I have more money than my sister's put together in the bank, actually. I mean, this is your own money you're very careful yeah. with? Yes, it's all my own money. All right, congratulations. Good luck. If you will, please step over here for the judges. This is Miss New York. Next is Miss Georgia. This is Dinesha Reed. She's 18 years old, a college freshman with straight A's. Enjoys volunteering her time at local animal shelters. What do you do at the shelter? What kind of jobs do you get? Well, I work as a volunteer at the Dog River Animal Sanctuary, and it's located in Atlanta. And one of my jobs is to choose animals for the petting zoo compound, so I chase animals around. And I also exercise cougars and servals. And wait, wait, you what? You exercise? I exercise them. I run them around, and let me tell you, they make very big messes. I become their number one pooper scooper. I don't need I don't need details right now. Now, what do you gain personally out of this experience? Is it is it nice? Well, I plan to work with animals in my career. I want to be a child psychologist and use animals as type of therapy for children. So, when children come in, it's an educational program, and when they come in, I get to see how they react, and I can use it one day. All right, now you talk to younger kids about dating. What do you tell them? <laughs> well, I tell them all guys are scum. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. We, got, we have some we have some male judges here be careful lady i'm just kidding i said that because my dad doesn't want me to ever date <laughs> but i really <laughs> he's like every father believe me yeah he is but really i tell him that um when you want to date you set standards for dating so you know that if uncomfortable situations can occur and you can learn how to handle those situations properly and... very good thank you very much please step over here for the judges if you will this is miss georgia Next is Miss South Carolina, Lauren Papel, 18 years of age, recent high school grad. She has a 3.7 grade point average, enjoys dancing and aerobics. Uh, are your mom and dad here? They sure are. In the audience? Oh, yeah, right over there. All right, we'll probably get a shot of them. And your grandparents were here before you got to Mississippi Beach? <laughs> yes, my grandparents came here before I got here. They had to bring all of my clothes because I had so much, and they're so excited, so they had to get here before me. Have they been enjoy enjoying their stay? Oh, yeah, and I think everyone in Biloxi knows who they are. <laughs> well, this, this is kind of a silly quote. You mean they've met everybody by now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, is there such a thing as a Mr. South Carolina pageant? They have a male equivalent? <laughs> Actually, there isn't, but I wish there was because it's kind of like a joke between me and my friends. We go around and we pretend that we're kind of judging for it and everything. If you were a judge, what would you look for in those men you were looking over? I'd look, he has to be really good looking, he has to have a great personality, and look really good in swimsuit. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that one. Uh, thank you very, very much. Thank if you will, please step over here for the judges. This is Miss South Carolina. Here's Miss Indiana, Kelly Lloyd. She's 16 years of age from Indianapolis, an all-conference track star. She works with the Christmas Seals Youth Ambassador for the Indiana Lung Association. How do you get uh, associated with the Lung Association? Well, actually, it was through a pageant title, and they recently invited me to attend Camp Super Kids, which is a camp for asthmatic children, to speak to the children about learning about their asthma, learning how to uh, cope with it. And now, now what, what makes you an authority on asthma? 
I'm an asthmatic. All right. Now we've got to establish that. You and I know that, but they don't. Now, is this something that, as a, as a young person with asthma, what would you tell parents who have an asthmatic child? I think it's important for parents to know that their child, although they do have limitations, to still let them be an, as a child. And it's, port, it's important to let them have fun. And it's important to learn a lot about asthma. A lot of people don't take it seriously, but it is serious. It's a disease. All right, let me jump from the serious to the light. What do you do for fun? I like to go fishing with my dad. Who's the better fisher person? Notice fisher person these days, correct? <laughs> Actually, neither one of us really catch anything very often. <laughs> So you're both lousy fishermen, is that it? Please step over here for the judges. This is Miss Indiana. All right, coming up now is Miss Ohio, Melissa Yust. She's 16 years old. She's a junior from Cincinnati with a 3.5 grade point average. You like to camp and travel. Your family has pets. A lot of pets. We have a dog and we have a skunk, but she's depewed, so she can't spray anybody. She is what? Depewed. Oh, oh, she, I see. She can't, yeah, I got you. Right. And how many other things do you have around? We have a bunny and a snake, and we have 42 ducks in our backyard. I heard you say that in the swimsuit thing. How did you acquire 42 ducks? Every summer we would get four ducks, and we'd raise them, and in the winter they would fly away, and in the summer they would come back and they'd bring their mates. So we've been doing that for a few years, and now we have a lot of ducks. That's right. All right, now let me change the subject a second. You're going to have an exchange student at your house. Is that person male or female, or don't you know? Probably female. Do you know from where? Germany, somewhere in Germany. I'm not, I don't know. You, hopefully this person likes animals. Hopefully, yes. Right, now, you're going to be an exchange student. Where will you go? I will go to Germany. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to go. Why? I mean, why select Germany? Well, my, um, basically, my family is German. Their backgrounds are German. So I took German in high school, and I'd like to go. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please step over here for the judges, if you will. This is Miss Ohio. Our right, next is Miss Oregon. This is Jill Chartier. She's 18 years old, attends the University of Oregon, wants to become a dentist. And I guess I got to ask you the question. Everybody's afraid of dentists. Why did you select dentistry? Well, in the eighth grade, I became interested in dentistry. Um, I've always loved people's smiles and their teeth, and I just thought if I can help brighten someone's smile, then, hey, it's worth it. So you're going to be an orthodontist? Well, I'm thinking about orthodontics because you seem to be a lot more appreciative, you know, towards people that, you know, put braces on, whereas if you get a cavity filled, you're not quite as appreciative. Aren't you afraid of being in a dentist chair? No. I actually, I fall asleep like a hairdresser. I kind of puts me to sleep. <laughs> While the <laughs> is going on, or, now you also have a secret desire to be an entertainer. Whether you're going to be singer, dancer, talk, or what? Um, actually, I love I love acting. I love uh, comedy, a lot of comedy. So. Somebody told me your favorite show is Saturday Night Live. Yeah. <laughs> you do a little impression of somebody. What was the character's name? Pat. I I thought I'd nail you with this. This, if you're familiar with the show, there's a character named Pat. Give me about this much of Pat. I thought this was a co-ed pageant. Uh, where's Chris and Robin and Terry? Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you step over here? That's Miss Oregon. Thank you, ladies. That completes our first six interviews. And some of the girls who were just interviewed. Let's. Oh, there's Miss Pat. Come over here, Jill. <laughs> okay. Now that was pretty good. You had him laughing out there. Yeah, I had myself laughing too. <laughs> so you think you did a good job up there? Oh, I don't know. I just. I made him laugh, so I guess that's good enough for me. I don't know. <laughs> it worked, it worked. And you know what? Now, you said your father doesn't want you to date Dinesha, but come on, do you have a if boyfriend? He, if, no, and if he had his choice, I'd be locked up in my room forever. <laughs> give, me, give me his phone number. I'll talk to him for you. <laughs> okay, the rest of the semifinalists are ready to compete, so stay tuned. We'll continue the interviews right after this word from CoverGirl Cosmetics. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful.